Hey guys, welcome back. And we are going to be completing our turn in place setup in this video. So uh, firstly, let's head to our locomotion folder, add in blueprint and open up our ABP locomotion. Uh, in the locomotion state machine, in our idle state and in our idle turn state, we are going to finish set it, setting up the enter turn function so open up enter turn and hit the little magnifier right here for unbecome relevant and uh, open up the select turn atoms function now in the last video we simply made ensure this was this was a pure function and it was set to tread safe so ensure that you have these now Uh, what we're going to do is get our root your offset again. So I'm going to drag this in. And we're going to minus 180. Again, this course is not for beginners, so I'm not going to be explaining too much in depth. Uh, simply follow along and take your time. So I'm going to normalize the axis of this value, this new value. And we're going to get the absolute value. So type, type ABS for absolute float. And we're going to check if this value is less than 50. If you recall, uh, in the transition, we ensure that if the absolute value from the your offset was greater than 50, 50. And now we're going to check if this is less than 50. So we can select between the turn left and turn right animations now if this is true then we call the turn in place animations um okay so we have this variable that we created earlier attempt turn counterclockwise so i'm going to get this variable and I want to say select. As you can see, it returns a true and a false pin. So it will check if attempt turn counterclockwise is true or false. So basically, if it's counterclockwise or clockwise. And we need to do one more select. So I'm just going to duplicate this. And we're going to replace the attempt turn counterclockwise variable with our crouch boolean variable oh my bad ensure to drop it not on the words but a bit off and it will replace the variable so what we're going to do is create two of these and we're going to check if crouch is true or false so you can play between the standing animations for turn in place and the crouching animations for turn in place the return value is going to be this return value. Now, we need ignore these errors for now. In our locomotion folder, let's create. No, we can open this struct folder right here. Right click, blueprints, structure. Name this st underscore turn atoms. I'm simply going to open this up and we need to add four new options here. The first one is going to be an atom sequence. Object reference. And you can just simply add three more. The first one is going to be turn right. Give me a sec. Turn right. 180. Other one is going to be turn left. 180. Turn right 90. And turn left 90. Nice. Save. And we can close this off. In our animation blueprint again, we can create a new variable. 
and we're going to call this turn Adams standing and this is going to be of type ST turn Adams that we just created we're going to duplicate this variable and create one for crouching nice compile save um, we're going to drag in our turn Adams for standing we're going to right click on the blue pin here and we're going to say split struct pin right so to the top here we are going to slot the 180 Adams so if attempt turn counterclockwise is false then we're going to play the turn right 180 and if it is true we play turn left 180. I'm just going to highlight all of these and keep things straight. Uh, for down here, we are going to get the crouching animations. So get the turn Adams crouching, get, split the struck pin, and slot it in as you see here. Straighten things out, and you are ready to go. Now, if this is false, then we can simply duplicate this, paste this here, duplicate the return value as well, and place this right here and connect the force up like so so up here we check for the standing 180 animations and the crouching 180 animations so down here we are going to check for the 90 animations oh my bad Right, so I'm going to delete these two and we are going to get our, oh, I don't need to delete them actually, Control Z to undo. I'm simply going to replace these with the turn right 90 and turn left 90 and for the crouching, uh, we're going to replace it with the turn right 90 crouch and turn left 90 crouch. I'm going to straighten things out. Right, and lastly, we just need to set up the other transition here, which is, let me just find it. I'm gonna head back to the atom graph. Open up our local motion state machine, idle, idle turn state, and the turn recovery. Now this is gonna be pretty simple. We're going to right click and create a sequence player. This one. We're going to scroll down and for the start position, we need the turn anim duration. Very well. And um, for the sequence, we're going to bind this to our final turn anim variable. We're going to ensure that loop animation is set to false and we are going to connect this up now compile and save if i head to my class defaults and i scroll down class oh this, i'm in class settings class defaults and i scroll down you can see we have our animations here for turn in place so i'm going to slot in all of my turn in place animations i'm just going to make a bit more space here right so this is for the standing animation so i'm going to get turn right 90 oh 180 sorry turn right 180 turn left 180 uh turn right 90 turn left 90 and for the crouching since well the crouching state isn't set up yet we can start the animations for now so turn right 180 crouch, turn left 180 crouch, turn right 90 crouch, and turn left 90 crouch. Hit compile and save, and let's give this a test. Now, before, when we moved our mouse, he went, he entered the T pose, or the A pose for that matter, because he didn't have anything slotted, but now 
as you can see, he performs the turn in place animations. I'm sure you noticed by now um, that when he performs a turn in place, he gets stuck in the turn in place state. So to fix that little issue uh, is you can open up the enter turn state and open up the set up turn anims function. And to the end here, before you return, you want to set the time, the turn anim duration back to zero. And lastly, from the transition from enter turn to turn recovery, highlight this and set the duration to be zero. Hit compile and save. And now you can see he performs a turn in place well. Both 90 and 180. Right, so that's it for this one. See ya.